The Architect VES Sport and the Architect VES K are mounted onto the frame in exactly the same manner. So whether you're prescribing the Sport or the K, the system for fitting it to the patient is identical. The first step in fitting the telescope is to loosen the two set screws on the back of the frame. This allows us to move the telescope right to left to line it up for the pupillary distance and to change the angle of inclination. You don't want it so loose that it's sloppy like it is here. You want it loose enough to move it, but not so loose that it won't stay in place. So let's see if I can get that a little bit better. So now I can slide it right to left, change the angle, but it stays where I put it. By loosening it completely, you can slide the telescope off the bridge, return it around the other way, replace it on the frame, and now it's positioned for the other eye. I'd like to show the patient how the system works. There's an eyepiece that's coming through the frame. They will be looking underneath through their regular eyeglass prescription, and then they will drop their head down and look up into the eyepiece in order to get the magnified view. The focusing knob is right in the middle, pretty much in front of your nose. Okay. Step one, once you place it on the patient, is to apply the telescope right to left to line the eyepiece up right above the eye that's going to be using the telescope. And that's fine. Step two, we're going to adjust the nose pad so the bottom of the eyepiece lines up with the top of the pupil. In step three, increase the angle of the front of the telescope. See how we can flip it down or flip it up. When we're fitting the telescope and we're adjusting the angle of inclination of the device, make certain that when the patient dips their head down to sight through the telescope, there's a straight line going through the telescope into the eye. The mold has a line right across the side of the telescope, so you can use that as a guide to make certain that when the sighting through the telescope, there's a straight line going through. Otherwise, you may get vignetting or loss of some of the field of view. Once we have that set and we know that the temples are snug behind the ear, I'll take it off, tighten the fitting screws, just snug enough so that it won't move, and place it back on the patient. Make certain that the temples are hard down on the, on the ear because if they're up, then the angle of the telescope won't be proper. So we want it all the way down hard. The patient will look straight ahead with their regular vision, and when they want to look through the telescope, they drop their head down, reach up with their hand to change the focus until they can get it clear. In summary, there are three steps to fitting the, the VESK and the VES Sport. Number one, loosen the bridge assembly so that you can move the telescope right to left to line it up with the eye. Position the eyepiece so that it's right above the eye that will be looking through the telescope. Step two, adjust the bridge assembly so that the bottom of the eyepiece lines up with the top of the pupil. Step three, change the angle of inclination so that when the patient drops the head down, they're looking directly through the eyepiece.